All right, here we go. D.L. Hughley, welcome back to Vlad TV. Thank you, man. Ten years later, I finally get liquor and cigars. Man, oh. Ten years. Only. <laughs> it only took ten years. We're all drinking right If I was right TK, here. you'd have had it a long time ago. <laughs> if I was a little boozy, you'd have had it a long time. We're all drinking right now. Yeah. Well, since we're all drinking anyways, <laughs> let's talk about that new Freaknik documentary that's yeah. about to come out. Yeah. Uh, five prominent professionals have are trying to actually sue Hulu right. to stop this thing. Right? Did you ever go to Freaknik back yeah, in the day? Of course. Oh, okay, of course. I, I, I never mean, went. Yeah, there was it was in the height of you know Def Jam and all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and it was it was something. It, it's the reason why Atlanta really like got on the map, and a lot of people started moving there. But when I and, you know we covered the story on my show, and I think these are five. Like one is a judge, uh, one is a, but I think these are people that either you know, there's some stuff that they don't want nobody to know about or living in a, a life that's contrary yeah. to the one that'll be uh, uh, depicted in the documentary. But but like everybody else, I think it's silly to hang a lantern on it, right? It's silly. Like everybody went to Freaknik uh, and did wild shit is hoping that nobody sees it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to sue nobody. That like that's, that's like bringing attention to it. Because the more controversial you make the documentary the more people are going to want want to watch. Right. But now when people hear five prominent women don't want you to see it, what do you think that's going to do? Everyone's going to watch it. Of course. Yeah, look for those five prominent of women. Of course. <laughs> There'll be a screen cap up with a right. big red arrow right. to it. But it's, it's really, it's, it's something because I think it isn't that our society is different than any, our society is different in that they will, puni uh, they will penalize you for what you did. Mm -hmm. They'll go back in time. And, and you know, and, uh, and the YouTube movement have, has, has, basically made that okay mm -hmm. to punish somebody for what they did 20 years. R, R. Kelly's doing in jail for what he did 20 years ago. Bill Co Cosby in jail, what he did, uh, you know, as having problems for what he did 30, 40, 50 years ago. So if that is the predicate, you're going to have a lot of people who, who are going to look at you. And if there were, and that, that, first off, they're not just women. There are a lot of prominent men that were probably doing some shit that was inappropriate to women too. I, I'm probably thinking there was probably more men that are scared Definitely. of what's they're happening not, right now than women. They're not gonna. They're not gonna come on. What they're gonna do is hope that this didn't happen. And right. it really, it you have to be naive to believe that whatever you doing was just an evolve. What we're doing is an evolve somewhere. And uh, you know, as I say that, as I try to reflect back over all this shit, I was. But I, I just think it's foolish to try to make people to make it bigger than it is because if you all of a sudden. Everybody's hearing about the lawsuit, and everybody's gonna try to see what 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 is happening with it.